feel like that and culture, I guess, can carry forward and, and develop in the coming years? Uh, I think it developed forward very, very well. Um, I, I know the guys coming back, they're excited to go already. I know they, they're going to, they have the time off, but I know they're not going to take it. They're just the gym rats, you know, they just want to get better. And I think coming back next year, I'm excited to see what they're going to do as well. This season as a whole obviously doesn't end how you wanted it to, but what, what maybe do you take away from this, this final year in Bloomington? Um, I learned just a lot about myself, especially just going through uh, all the up and downs with the injuries. I just I feel like it's made me better as a person overall, just being able to, even when the odds are stacked against you, day in, day out, you know, just, you know, when you work clothes on and going to work, it just it just is what it is, and you have to do what you can. Um, although sometimes you'll be outmatched, sometimes somebody has a better jump shot, sometimes somebody's bigger. But at the end of the day, it's it's all about heart. And if no, that's something you can't teach. If you have it, you got it. And I think that's uh, what the team has shown over the last few weeks. From a locker room perspective, do you feel like there's the leadership that there needs to be, like going forward in in, in this room that oh, can I, take the program forward? I definitely think there is. Um, all the guys coming back, I think. Just another year on the belt, they'll be more mature. And I think just, I don't think it will be uh, just one leader. I think it will be leadership by committee. That's um, that's what I think it will be. Uh, this year it's pretty much uh, me and Zach you know, kind of being the voice of the team. And not to say that's ever a bad thing, you know. That's how it was for us, uh, my freshman year with Yogi. But just, you know, there's just something different about a team that's led by each other. Everybody doing their own parts to make uh, one clip for unit. This shooting was obviously an issue this year with this team. Do you feel like that's something that can be developed with the players that are still here, or do you feel like that's something that needs to be addressed in terms of bringing other guys in, maybe they can shoot? Uh, I think it's a little bit both. You know, I think these guys are great shooters in practice. Guys are knocking out shots and things. I think it's a matter of confidence. Just you see when somebody gets hot like uh, Marcus did tonight, um, you know, the ball just goes in, and that, or the rim looks wider. You know, you just got to shoot it confidently. And I think uh, that's just some guys just have to develop over time. And I think also bringing guys that already have, you know, because some guys just, that's what they, they just do. You know, some guys are just shooters. And I think uh, a lot of injuries um, to some guys over the season, uh, I think that kind of just hindered them in uh, other ways, uh, just mentally. And then once you get into the mental aspect of things, if you kind of take yourself out of it, I think the shooting is affected by that as well as other aspects of the game. But I think these guys will really have it down by the time it comes next year. This year, what, in your mind, what was maybe the best moment of the season? Um, I would say uh, the last uh, couple of weeks uh, of the season, you know, just guys, like everything was good. Uh, at the beginning, we were winning. Everything was bad. We were winning on that run. But it was just, it was a different feeling amongst uh, all the guys when we were uh, rallying back. Everybody knew what the goal was. Everybody knew what we wanted to do. And it was just a different fight, like a fight I hadn't seen before. Like, I know we had fought some games early on when we were down, like Louisville, Butler, things like that. But this was like, it was different. That's the only way I can explain it. It was different. What was it like for you? Obviously, you came in under Crean and played for him, and, and then you are playing for Coach Miller this last two years. Obviously, different styles of play, different coaches' personalities. Just what maybe did you learn from, from Coach Miller these last two years? Um, I learned that, you know, you just, if you're a dog uh, on defense, you know, things on offense will open up. I think that's just uh, how he's coached us, and uh, that's kind of what I've learned uh, because usually with Coach Green we were switching a lot and you know I think that made me versatile as a defender but I think uh, playing the five the last two years has made me just like a tougher defender like saying like look you're going to have to go through me like regardless if you're you know seven foot or six seven like myself but I think uh not to use my own horn, but I don't think there's another six, seven <laughs> center right. that can guard the people that I've had to do. You mentioned in your senior speech about not wanting to play the five at mm -hmm. times. What maybe do you feel like was the biggest challenge of that? Why Why maybe did you not like it at times, and, and what maybe did you like about it at times? Um, at times I didn't like it just because of the, I, the toll it took on my body. Like Sometimes I feel like I was just so exhausted, like exerting all the energy on defense that I was no, a non-factor on offense. But I think as as I just kept going on and on, I just, you know, I started to be able to play smarter field to pick my spots, things like that on the defensive end, um, and be able to uh, pick up different things from different big guys that I didn't know before, you know, because when they're, they, you know, you can't teach size, so they can always use the size against me, but when you have somebody that's technically skilled, excuse me, and can get around them and things like that, it makes it a whole new 
ball game. One of the, one of the guys we heard a lot about in the preseason, obviously didn't get to see, was Jerome Hunter. What, what in the future, obviously, if he's able to get back and play, what what is he going to bring to this program? Uh, he's going to bring tremendous versatility. I was uh, honestly, I was hurt that I wasn't able to play with him just because in open gym, uh, I always I always remember the story because every time we brought in like a recruit, we like had open gym or anything, they were kind of timid. He was the only one to go at everybody that was guarding him. And I remember there was a stretch of like six or seven points straight. And we go by ones in open gym. So it was six or seven points straight where it was just me and him going at each other. And he was pulling out every move he had. And, you know, I don't think anybody had ever done that. And, you know, I just commended him on just having that, that fight in him from the get-go. And, yeah, people are going to love uh, his, his style of play. Uh, it was, it's going to be a great thing to see. Your future in basketball, obviously, your goals to make it to the NBA. What 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 are these next? What do you anticipate these next couple months being like for you? Um, I just sitting down, you know, well, with my family and the closest friends, you know, just figuring out what to do to put me in the best position to get to the next level. Um, just whatever it takes, you know, workouts, things like that, and just stay in shape. Is there anything you want to show, maybe, that you didn't have a chance to show at all this year? Uh, I just want to be able to show, you know, my defense for Stilly. Um, although there was times where I was switching on guards, and I think I did well on those guys, um, I just want to be able to show that, you know, I feel like I'm capable of guard one through five. Um, you know, just it's just the confidence I have in my defense ability, and then also I just want to show like what I'm able to do on offense, like just how I'm able to be effective without scoring the ball even one time. I just feel like I can be effective in many many ways than one.